Alright guys, welcome to your 21st tutorial and in this lesson we're going to be finishing up the last main part of the game and that is that menu that pops up whenever the user hits escape. So remember, whenever we're playing the game we can move up, down, left, right, do all that good stuff and they hit escape, hmm, no menu is popping up so that's not good. So let's go ahead and change that right now. Well, in order to get the menu to pop up, what it does is it says, okay, if quit is equal to true, then pop up the menu on the screen. Now, by default, of course, whenever the game first starts out, quit is equal to false because, you know, as soon as you start playing the game, you don't want to quit it or else you shouldn't. I mean, the game isn't that bad, right? So let's go ahead and add some functionality to pretty much listen for whenever they hit the escape button on their keyboard. And whenever they do that, we want to set the quit variable equal to true. So make sure that you are right under this little right if statement, but still inside your update method. Now escape if, and I might as well just copy this because I'm lazy. Frick it, I might as well just copy this whole entire thing. Laziness prevails once again. All right, so obviously this is the right arrow and we wanna listen for escape, so it's escape so what do we want to do whenever they hit escape? Well, that means that they're thinking about quitting the game, so set quit equal to true. Now remember, whenever quit is equal to true, then the menu gets rendered on the screen or drawn on the screen. So if we were to play this game right now, play this game, oh, I'm having fun, I'm having so much fun. Oh, wait a minute, my mom made Hot Pockets for dinner, so I'm gonna hit escape. The menu pops up on the screen. Do you wanna resume the game? Do you wanna go back to the main menu? Or do you want to quit the game? If you're on a resume, press R. I'm pressing R right now. Nothing's happening. Main menu, press M. Or quit, press Q. Nothing's happening. So, you know, we got the menu to pop up on the screen, which is half the battle. But now we have to add functionality to listen when the menu is on the screen. Listen for these keys, R, M, and Q. And if the user hits one of these keys, then do something further. So let's go in order, we'll do R first, then uh, M, which takes you to the main menu, then Q, which quits the game. All right, so whenever you hit the escape button, then it turns quit equal to true, and the menu pops up on the screen. And now, when the menu is up, this is the code you wanna run. So you first need to test for if quit is equal to true which is basically saying is the menu on the screen that's the only time quit is going to be equal to true when the menu is on the screen now when the menu is on the screen you pretty much make three very simple if statements the first if statement listens for again copying this because I'm lazy the first if statement listens for key which was it R for resume the second if statement listens for, let's see, it was resume, M for main menu. And the third one listens for Q, which pretty much means quit the game. So whenever you just want to resume the game, this is really easy, probably the easiest one. Just go ahead and set quit equal to false, like it was by default. So whenever you're playing the game, obviously you're not quitting the game. So change that to false and obviously this would make the menu disappear because the menu only gets drawn on the screen drawn on the screen when quit is true. Okay, so R is taken care of. Let's test that out. Make sure we don't mess anything up as we go. Alright, so I hit escape. I want to resume. I'm gonna press R. The menu disappears and you could walk around still. Awesome. So <coughs> oh excuse me, I got kennel cough from a dog. Okay. So now in order to go to the main menu, that's another easy one. We already know how to do that. All we need to do is since we're in the play state, we need to go to the menu state. So SBG, enter state, and the ID number of the main menu is zero. So let's go ahead and test that one out right now. Play now, walk around, hit escape, main menu, M, awesome. We're at the main menu. We can go ahead and you know play now or exit, whatever you wanna do with the main menu. Now to quit the game, again, very easy. Whenever the user is in the menu and they hit Q, they must want to quit the game. So in order to quit the game, just shut down the entire program, system, exit with a status of zero, which means that everything exited properly. 
even though the user quit the game. Why they would ever want to quit, I don't know, because, you know, it's probably the coolest game ever created, but if they want to quit for some silly reason, then this is the code to do that. So now let's go ahead and might as well test that out. Play the game. Walking around. Oh my god, what's this? A tree? Ah, oh, this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. What's this? A building? Oh my god. But you know what? Mom made meatloaf again. Gotta go quit and eat some of that. So hit escape and hit Q on your keyboard and it quits the game for you. So there you go, there you have it. That is how you make a very basic role playing game. Again, some cool things that you might want to do. And, you know, I just want to teach you guys the basics. Everything further than this is pretty redundant. You may want to have, you know, collision detection on this building and, I don't know, maybe make it um, a market where you can buy things or, you know, um, you know buy items or fight people but basically now that you understand how collision detection works and how all the listeners work where you can have menus and all that good stuff basically the rest is up to your imagination what kind of game do you want to make it what do you want the um, character to be able to do what kind of objects do you want Oh, excuse me what kind of objects do you want in the game so on and so forth so there you go I have now armed you guys with the very basic knowledge in the upcoming slick tutorials I'm probably going to be making a more advanced style of game different than a role-playing game so that's what you have to look forward to I'm not sure when I'm gonna get these tutorials pumped out but for now I'm sure this is plenty enough to keep you guys busy so again one last time thank you guys so much for watching in uh supporting my videos if you have any questions then just go ahead and ask me on my forum and uh one last time thank you and i'll see you later